You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. All right, we all know real estate prices are way up. Supply is low, demand is high. So is it time to take the plunge and ditch the landlord and own a home of your own? All right, joining us now, Lauren Lyons Cole, a personal finance contributor for TheStreet.com. Lauren, thanks for being here. So my understanding is it is now no longer cheaper to buy than to rent, right? Which is something that switched recently. Is it our it's executive? all kind of relative. Yeah. It sort of depends on your situation. Okay. So, and really, when you're thinking about buying versus renting, you want to pay attention to what your situation is. So, right. if you're not sure about your city, not sure about your job, you might want to stick with renting. But once you're starting, you're you know you're more stable and ready to build equity in a home, then it still can make sense to buy a home. Yeah. Let's talk about affording it, though. I think yeah. people really need to have more money than they think they need. Am I right? Well, so when you're looking at the cost of a home, the general rule of thumb is that you can afford something that's three to five times your annual salary. Mm -hmm. But that's going to depend on how much, you know, other debt you have, what sort of mortgage interest rate you can get. How cash poor you're willing uh, to be. Yeah, exactly. It's very yeah. easy to say, I'll live on spaghetti all year long mm -hmm. to afford this house. There's nothing to do it. Exactly. Um, and what about, uh, you know, we were talking about earlier credit issues, right, Steve? Right, I mean, well, that's the thing. I mean, it, it's getting harder and harder to get the mortgage. That was something that had kept people off the sidelines. Now the mortgage rates are going up, too. Right. Mortgage rates are going up, but you don't want to necessarily make decisions based on the mortgage rates. You can't control the mortgage rates. What you can control are things like your credit score. So if right. your credit score is a little bit low, work to bring it up. And that way you'll get the best rate possible at the time. Me meaning what? Clearing debt, stuff like that? Clear all debts. Yeah, you can actually use sites like creditkarma.com and annualcreditreport.com. Get some free help to yeah. start bringing up that rate. And how long, I mean, how long would it take before you start to see some real difference in your credit score? Like, you know, can you do it in a year, two years? No, great question. Actually, I've seen people's scores jump over 100 points in less than three months just really? by taking the step. Yes, you have wow. a lot of control over your credit score. That's, uh, that's very surprising because I, I almost thought that whole thing sort or set up against you just so you have right. to pay higher APR. No. I didn't know you'd be able to fix no, that's it that good quick. To know. All right, quick prediction. Where are the mortgage rates going? Are they going to continue to climb? <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But if you're in the market for a home, just start saving as much as you can for down payment. That's the best thing you can do as a consumer. Right, right. All and right, in the Lauren, city, there's thank all sorts you. of stuff. We appreciate it. Thanks all for right. coming in.